Welcome back to Afternoon Garage. So if you've been following this, this is the third part of this series here in which I am trying to fix some antenna holes. So the first part was welding up the holes. Second part was all that body work. Got really messy during that last episode. And then this time we're gonna go over some paint techniques. How to get the panel flat. How to know if it's flat or not. So we're gonna start here with this epoxy primer. This is an Eastwood product. I also use something from Summit Racing every once in a while. I'll use uh, both of their different products. They have pretty good uh, tested products here. This epoxy primer is meant for use over bare metal and paint and filler. But what you want to do is you just, you want to create a sealed surface so that no other paint or primer can get past and go down into the substrate, kind of lifting your paint up. So let's get to the paint. good. You need to re remove all of it. One hour later.
wondering why I have a can of flat indoor outdoor paint. Well, this is actually something I use to detect the flatness of the panel. You know what you do with this, you take and you let your primer dry completely, then you kind of mist this on to the panel. Not a whole lot of this. Make sure it's flat too because the gloss kind of makes it gum up a little bit. Flat dries really quickly and uh, you kind of miss the panel and then when you sand on it, you can see darker areas. Well, darker areas are going to be where it's low. So then you can either decide to keep on sanding or add more primer, but this will tell you everything you need to know about how flat your panel is. A few minutes later. is put on the last coat of primer. One thing to notice is you have some metal spots and some filler that's kind of showing up. Make sure those are all covered up. Then do one final sand. Should be good to go. It's been a long project. I'm done. 
ready for this to be over. Let's finish it up. Two hours later. I have a pure white for my favorite paint company, Summit Racing. It's about as white of a white pigment as you can get. Now what you usually have, they usually take the gas store off, kind of look at it a little bit, put it out in natural sunlight, and you'll be able to see exactly what's going on. From the looks of it, it looks like there's some yellow in here and it looks like it's a little dark. So what you can do is you can take some of your base pigment, put it on there, just put it on the corner of the gas store here, take it outside to look at it. Compare that to that. Of course you want to wipe this off before it dries, but that'll give you a good idea and get you pretty close, even before the paint is dried. To tint this, I'm going to use some darker yellow. I'm seeing yellow in here. I don't want to take the whole thing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to separate a good portion of it, separate a cord into here. And then what we'll do is we'll tint the rest of the can up. That way I can add some back in if I need to. Because once the whole can is tinted, well, that's the color you're going to get. So I think what I'm going to do too, is I'm going to start with a small amount, put it in here and we'll kind of just mix it up, add some yellow, Maybe you add a little black, maybe not. Don't tint the whole can, because if you do that, there's no way to go back. If it gets too dark, there's nothing you can do about it. You have to throw the paint away.
What I'm going to use is I'm going to do a spray out card. This is called a spray out card. Three different types of primer that you'd use on it. And uh, mixing cup has the different ratios on it. This particular product is four to one to one. Four parts paint, one part reducer, and one part uh, activator. Although I tend to use a little bit more reducer than people normally would. Let's mix it up, get our spray out card, see how close it's going to be to this. So you locate four, one, one, one. No sun today, but you want to put these kind of next to each other. Looks pretty good. Let's shoot it. Approximately 10 hours later. All right. That looks pretty good. I removed the masking paper earlier. Um, kind of cleaned up some of these. These will lay down when it, when it heats up a little bit. And uh, one problem we have is uh, I got a little sag right there on the record panel. And what happened here? So the paint lifted really bad around the gas store because I didn't put primer on here. One thing I was going to do was kind of shoot some primer over it, but that's a good example of what happens if you don't prime everything and to lock it in. Not only that, over here on the trunk, what happened there? It looks terrible. So what we're going to do here is I'm going to remove all this lifted paint and um, probably going to look into uh, just preparing that. We're going to continue to work on that. I put a bunch of paint on that. I just kind of want to build it up. Let's 
see it. Kind of want to pile that paint on there. And um, yeah, I think we'll start looking at this up here. That's pretty ugly. I think we're going to use a DA on it. Make sure you get all this, all this paint off here. Flatten it out. Put some primer on it this time and shoot it. the paint portion of this video uh, it was kind of a drag there towards the end I had some paint issues but you know the thing is is if you can counter a problem like that that's kind of big like I did on that rear quarter panel back there just stop don't put any more paint on it's gonna cut your losses stop painting that panel come back and fix it later definitely what you don't want to do is you don't want to mess with it while it's on there I know it's kind of tempting to if you have a run to kind of make it not run anymore but that's really not the best idea but overall, I think the paint turned out pretty good. It could use a little more finishing work, a little more sanding, a little more buffing. But the trunk turned out pretty good. And this fender that I did here looks pretty good. Most important thing is, is we got paint underneath this trim here. And it's going to last for a while. Probably not rust for as long as I'm going to own it. Well, next week, we're going to go on cleaning the motor and uh, get ready to send this thing off. So if you like this kind of content, please subscribe. Till next week.